Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're well and let's continue with Laravel Valley. So next up, we're just going to take a look at obviously Valley install, but we won't install uninstall that. We'll just leave it. Uh, otherwise we'll remove Valley. So if you wanted to install all the services and there's an issue, maybe installing version three, you may have to run Valley install and then run that composer uh, global update. Oh, sorry, um, require to get that Valley version up to the version that you want. And note that it'll also give you an, uh, an ability to roll back if you need that, if you just you know wanted to try it out and then you wanted to roll back to the version that you previously had. Uh, I think there's like a flag for that as well. So the other thing is uh, we're gonna take a look at is Valet which uh, PHP. This one's new. Um, so it tells you which PHP version that you're using, like whether you've installed it via Homebrew or you've installed it manually or some other way, it'll tell you where it's getting uh, the PHP uh, versions from that it's trying to run or load or install. So if you were to like, let's say you didn't have PHP 7.4 or something like that installed on your system, Valet will reach out to Brew and install that for you. It might take a moment and then any other appropriate versions that you want to switch between. All right, so we've covered which PHP, which we're going to skip that for a moment. And we're going to, go, we're going to come back to use and we're going to come back to these ones as well. So. What we're going to use is one called open and this is fairly common so if you say valet open and then you choose uh, whatever project you want to open the name of the project you don't have to write the full tld at the end of it it'll just open it so for instance let's just see where i am currently before i run that command so i'm going to cd into projects this is what i use for you guys here i have these projects that you know i'm working on within the channel so fundamentals laravel 6 lts my app and then tailwind right so this is where you would ask Valet to run these or open them. So if you said Valet open and you type in my app, for instance, you don't need to type in the, the TLD just by itself. This will open it up in a browser. Now it says not found, and this is good because we haven't actually linked this file or sorry, this project or this directory to Valet. So you're getting a 404. So that's still okay. We'll just leave that for now and we'll jump back to this. So the command is Valet open and then whatever you're going to open. Now, Valet doesn't know um, directories to open and link the DNS mask to unless you tell it. So you can do something like this. You can let's say Valet paths and it'll list the default config path. So this is basically where Valet stores its site definitions in the config file. You might not have this either. It might be empty uh, depending, but I've already linked some paths and unlinked some things. So it keeps like kind of a breadcrumb in the config file. So Valet, when you are linking a directory, for instance, PWDM and project, you have to be inside of the actual directory to link it. So you could just say CD and I think we will use my app or in there. If I say Valet link, it'll create a symbolic link between, you know, the config file that you've seen here, where it keeps the site definitions, and then it'll be able to link that. So if I say Valet now open and I choose uh, my app, it'll open that up. And notice that it's opening up this app right now and it's using the tld.code. But if you're really paying attention here, you'll see that, you know, I'm using a version of Laravel 8 and I'm using PHP 7.4. I'll get to how I did that in a moment. I just wanna show you that you can open a directory within Valet and it will open and serve up your project. Okay, so here's the one that didn't open before. If we were to refresh this, it's the exact same thing. So let's just close these out. Now, if I try to open another Valet project, I say Valet open, I wanna do say fundamentals. And you know what? I messed the command up. Sorry about that guys. This is good to see. I'll say, so we'll say open. And once again, I get the same error. That's because once again, I need to link that. In order to link that, I'm gonna go out of directory. I'm gonna CD into fundamentals. I'm gonna say Valet link. Now you can do this in all one line, but just I'm just going rudimentary kind of back and forth so that you guys can follow along. And I can say valet link, and then it will make a symbolic link for this as well. And if I was to run that command again, and I jump to open fundamentals, there you go, it'll open that. And notice that this version of this project is using PHP 8.1, and it's using Laravel LTS 9. I'm gonna do one more and then I'm gonna close this, okay? So go out to this directory and I will CD into L6. And then we'll run a valet link one more time. Now I can valet open and I'm gonna open up the L6 with the Laravel 6 LTS project. 
and as you can see. So I'm opening up multiple versions of Laravel with different versions of PHP. So keep that in mind, okay? So we're gonna go back, we're gonna close this. I'm just gonna clear this out to make it a little bit less visual clutter there. I'll do valet links, okay? So this command basically shows all of the links that I have linked. If I had typed in valet, is another command here, guys, valet list, which lists all the commands. You can see that um, links basically links the current working directory to valet and valet links displays all of the registered links inside of uh, valet. So it basically shows you which ones are linked. Okay, so in this case, these three projects are linked. If I wanna unlink a project or remove it from Valet, I'll show you how to do that as well. Actually, I'm just gonna list because I wanna see what's in here. Oh yes, my Tailwind project. So if I go uh, Valet, or sorry, CD, uh, Tailwind, I CD into this directory, I'm gonna do a Valet link, okay? So if you're following the Tailwind series, guys, this is where this is coming from, okay? So I'm gonna unlink this one. So I'm gonna say Valet, unlink because I'm in that current directory okay so now the symbolic link has been removed so if I was to go to valet and try to open tailwind CSS it'll give me a 404 because I've unlinked it all right and if I was to check with valet all the sites that I've created sim links for you'll notice that these are the ones so that's how you link and unlink um, directories or project files using Valet. And that's it for this one, guys. I will see you later. Take care. So don't forget to like, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts below. Hit the notification bell. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Until next time.